Hello everybody, uh, Turner from Mountain Made Fitness Collective. As you can see, joined by the faithful Steve, the fairy bastard, Eddie, nice work. Always keeping it regal, okay? So today what we're gonna go through is we're gonna do a warm up followed by an EMOM, just like we did last time. It's going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We're gonna go five times round. So it takes 10 minutes to do this workout. The two movements we're gonna do is front squats, or air squats, we'll go through the variations, and we could also go to back squats as well if we needed to, and then burpees, or burpees over your bag or dumbbell. So, I will get this out of the way, we'll go through our warm up, so again, squats, chest nice and up, as you can see, got the fire behind me, roasted my ass. Okay, so, down, nice and low, getting those 10 squats, as we, uh, you might have seen with Steph and I, it is difficult to count when you're also repping them out. So there's my 10. Not sure if I got there, hopefully you did. Inchworms, love them. Great warm up for the shoulders, great warm up. Get those hamstrings moving. Also for the core, don't have to reach too far out. So just reaching through into that plank position, not dropping our hips, staying nice and strong, and then back up. Remember if you're as flexible as me, you're going wide with your feet, because I'm not very flexible. Okay, then back and through into that push-up position. Back up. One more. Nice. Okay, now we're down here. We're gonna go for our push-ups. So you can do push-ups either on your knees, on your feet. The only thing that I want to really make sure you're doing is that you're going full range or to your full range, your capacity. Don't do little ones when you could do full ones. So again, here we are, so nice and low. I'm just gonna go for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, standing tall. I always add push-ups to my warm-ups because most people, their upper body needs to get stronger. And with the pushing that you develop, that pushing strength, you also develop pulling strength. Really helps if you're trying to get pull-ups and stuff like that. Let's go squats again. So down for 10, keeping that chest up, driving those knees out. And remember, I often say looking up really helps to keep the chest up. We're gonna go for two more because I've lost count. One, two, now we're gonna walk it out. Woo, it's hot in here. Okay, another fantastic song. It's hot in here. Okay, back up, remember, Maybe you can put some music on. I can't, unfortunately, with the regulations with YouTube. So if you've got some tunes, make sure to turn them on. Good. That's another great song. Is it Kevin Little? I can't remember. Anyway, so let's go for 10 push-ups. You can break these up as well. So we could go for five, two, three, four, five. Rest. Shake it out, chest is up. Coming back down, remember that neutral head, not looking forward. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes people ask me, they're like, well, I'm not sure if I'm getting to range, okay? So one thing to think about with that range is that you are lowering to the floor. Take your hands off the ground. Let's go hand release. Down, there we go then you know if you're going full range or not. Whew. Okay, so you are joining me today in the mountains of Revelstoke, middle of British Columbia. The ski hill has just opened today, crazy balls, but we're gonna get our fitness, get you ready for those slopes, get you ready for out in the mountains. If you don't live near those mountains, well, soon you'll be able to go and visit them at some point, let's hope. So, the movements that we're going through. We're going to go through a front squat. Now, I've got a bag here. I put a dumbbell in it. One thing that we often use is a bag of rice. So go to your local supermarket, your store, grab a bag of rice. It has the weight on it. Usually like anything from, from around here, $14, something like that, for like a 20-pound bag of rice. So suddenly you've got something you can really use. Throw it in a bag. You've got a weight, okay? And then at some point you can eat it. So front squats. We're using the impact bag, but you can use any rucksack. We're gonna just go into that front rack position. So 
through into here, and then we're just going to squat down, keeping the chest nice and up, driving the knees out. Remember, nothing should change. If suddenly, if we've added load, you're suddenly kind of squatting like this, or caving your knees in, then it's too heavy, okay? The, the normal fundamentals, mechanics of the squat should not change if you've added load. Okay, otherwise, what you can do is just normal squats through, back up, through, and back up. Fantastic exercise. You could also take it onto your back, into this position. So again, all the way down, back up. Nothing should change. Our mechanics should be looking the same. And then burpees. So I love my burpees. We've gone through this before, but remember, Hands hit the ground, they get stuck to the ground, okay? They don't move anywhere. So, hands stuck to the floor, back, all the way down, back up, feet come towards the hands, and then jump through. You can step it back, step it up, and through, absolutely fine. Now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take it up a notch. Eddie's not impressed, as you can tell. He's like, I've seen this before. I've seen it. Okay, so what we're gonna go for is burpees over the back. Let's see if we can get a, an eyebrow raise from the, the fella over here. Okay, so down and through and over. Okay, if that's too much, you can step over the back or take the bag out of the way, doesn't matter. Okay, so what we like to do, make sure to have some water, Make sure to bring a towel and always have a friend. Okay, but what we like to do is we like to make this measurable, observable, repeatable. Okay, so you've got your piece of equipment. What weight is it? Re remember what weight it is, write it down. What scale are you gonna do? You can do front rack, back squat, or just air squat. Burpees, are you just gonna do normal burpees, step back, step forward, or are you jumping over? Whatever it is, it doesn't matter but mark it down somewhere, because if it's measurable, observable, and repeatable with our time frames, you can then repeat this and see yourself get fitter, faster, stronger. And that's what you need. Okay, so, a bit of water. It also helps stop this Englishman speaking when he's drinking. <laughs> okay, cool, so, without further ado, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, five rounds at each, we're gonna start with that front squat. Let's go in 10 seconds. Remember, all of this is gonna be written beneath. So if you're wondering what we're doing, just have a check it out beneath the video and through. So there we are, we are in. Nice. If you can keep counting, please do count your reps. Know what you're doing. As you can tell, it's always gonna be difficult for me to walk and talk and count. So there goes, 10 seconds to go, chest is nice and up. Driving those hips, thinking about where the weight is in our feet. Three, keep going, all the way, and rest. One thing you will notice with me is I don't count you down. Before we start, I'll count you in. Three, two, one, let's go. But at the end, when we've got 27 seconds, and we're three, two, one, and rest, I'm not gonna do that, because we'll all stop before. Psychologically, I've seen it happen so many times. Okay, 10 seconds. Whew. Here we go, remember, get those tunes up, wake the neighbors up. Three, two, one, let's go. Jumping over that bag. So if you need to step, that's totally fine. 10 seconds is gone. We really haven't impressed Eddie. He's barely moving. 10 seconds to go. He's like, I've seen him do this before. Okay, five seconds. Let's go, let's go. All the way and rest. Nice work, everybody. Grab some water. Whew. Okay. So... Maybe your energy is low today. Maybe you're gonna skip around. That's totally fine, but remember, mark when you do. It is quite a stressful time at the moment for everybody. We're coming up to Christmas as well. And then with all of these uncertain things around, 
Some days it's just winning by doing a warm up. Two, one, let's go. Chest is nice and up. That's it. Think about where the weight is in the foot. Driving through your heels, through the full of your foot, keeping those heels down on the ground, engaging the glutes, driving your knees out. Here we go, five seconds. Rest. Well done. This one's going to be spicy, everybody, just in case you haven't realized. Okay, 15 seconds to go. There is no snow on at the moment. No snow down here at least. Lots of snow up in the mountains which is nice. But we're waiting for it to turn up. It's not a bad thing. I don't have to do any shoveling which is nice. Okay, three, two, one burpees. That's it. Remember, you can step in, step out like so. That's totally fine. If you're trying to go a bit faster, throw yourself to the ground. If you need to slow it down, put your hands down on the ground first, like this, and then kick the legs back. Five seconds. Let's go. All the way. Nice work. Well done. And straight into the fire. This is totally roasting me. So we'll turn that down a bit. Eddie's loving the heat. He's, a, he's an absolute sunhound. Okay, 15 seconds to go. We're gonna go back into that squat, back into that front squat. Maybe you need to do air squats on this round. I know I'd like to. Ah, okay. So three, two, one, let's go. Okay, how many can we get in the next 15? Count them out, let's push. One, two, three, four, keep that depth. Five, I can see you. Only joking. Okay, good, five seconds, let's go. Get back off, off the couch. Okay, good, and rest. Imagine that. Oi, you, get up. Okay, so now we're gonna go burpees. We are halfway. I'm feeling it, I'm hot. I feel like I'm about to slip out of the room. Why did I wear trousers today? Yes, trousers, English, not pants. Very different if I was wearing my pants. Okay, we're gonna go in. Woo! 10 seconds. Burpees, remember, do we step in? Do we step out? Cha-cha, no. We're going to jump in, jump out for this one. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way to the ground. None of these burpees that don't go to the ground. All the way to the floor. I love this movement because all you need is the ground. There are no excuses with burpees. If you can do the movement, you've got the ground to do it. Okay, five seconds, let's go. Excellent. One more. Well done. Woo! Hey, is he still not impressed? He's like, oh, I've had enough of him. I've had enough. Okay, we're going into front squats now. Get that towel out. It's alright. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Oh. Remember, if you've got questions, ask us in the comments below. Three, two, one, let's go. You know, stuff like, what's your favourite colour? No, I mean, if you're asking me about the movements, training, stuff like that, please ask. We're always, always interested in hearing from you and interested in helping if we can. 10 seconds to go. That's it, chest is up. We are over the hump here. One more, rest, good. Okay, so do you need to do burpees over the bag? You don't. If you need to take it down, this is the point. Just kick that bag to the side, normal burpees. If you're able to keep pushing, let's go over the bag. Let's really think about that two foot hop, two foot land. Okay, 10 seconds. Woo. Round seven, three, 
two, one, let's go. That's it, all the way to the ground. Coiling up, jumping over. If you've got a big rucksack, then suddenly you can have something even higher to jump over to make it harder. Maybe you're gonna just use a small bag of sugar or something like that and rest. It doesn't matter. Just changing that stimulus just slightly. Maybe it's a book, you know? You've got the Oxford Dictionary, put it down. It's a bit of a size, you jump over it. Okay, two more rounds left, and then we are done. Sweating, breathing hard, things are good. It's always good to, to move, makes me feel better. I do it on a daily basis. Some days it's a big workout, other days it's just, you know, walking the dog and getting myself moving. You know, it really helps clear the mind, relax, release the stress, and if you're filling your cup, you can fill someone else's. Okay, 15 seconds. You know, sometimes it feels like, oh, I don't have time. You know, I don't have a bit of time for myself, but if you can help yourself, you can help those people in your life that you care about and rest. You have more capacity to give. Okay, so, oh, that got Eddie interested. He's like, yeah, give me a walk. Okay, good. We will, I promise, I promise. Okay, so, the last round. Burpees, they're going to be fast and furious. Great film, great film. Anyway, whew, 10 seconds. So, perfect technique. Always with the last rounds. You've got to really focus on that technique because that's when it can slump. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it. You know, we're going to start an absolute fad working out in front of the fires. You know, it's going to take the world by storm. Okay, 15 seconds, everybody. This is it. We're almost there. We're almost finished. Let's push. Okay. Five seconds. One more. And rest. Woo! Well, nice work, everybody. Tell myself down. Oh. So, 10 minutes, five rounds, two movements. You got a lot done in that time. So, stretch wise, the ones that I've been going for recently have been quad stretch, but we're going to change it up. We're going to go for hamstring and calf, just hinging in to this position, coiling those toes up towards you. And same thing on the other side. I am not doing the stretch right now, I'm just showing you. So, I would advise. A minute on each side, do it twice at the minimum, and then quad stretch, because I just really think this is an underrated stretch, and particularly if you're spending a lot of time sitting down, this really, really helps. So if you drive a lot, work sitting down, you know, like so, just into that position, holding it. Remember, release the knee, drive the hip forward, and standing strong, and make sure that you do that 30 seconds at least to a minute on both sides. Thank you for joining us. Remember, if you're interested in programs, they're all beneath. We've got a six week trainer ski program, core and body weight if you have no equipment. And then we've also got a backcountry cookbook, which is there to support you in all your outdoor endeavors. Okay, well, have a lovely rest of your day. All the best.